What's going on everyone, Only Sports back with another video. In this video, I wanna be talking about the two trades the New York Giants made in two days as they made a couple of, I would say minor moves, but definitely moves that can impact the team. We're gonna start off with the first one uh, that happened. So the one that happened on Monday. As the Giants are making a trade with the Houston Texans to bring in Keon Crossan, the cornerback and special teams star. Um, he's terrific in special teams. Um, the Giants are sending back to the Texans a 2023 six round pick. So not crazy, but not, you know, I, I feel like maybe you could have traded a seventh, but realistically, since the six round pick is not in the upcoming draft, the one after it's more like a seventh round pick. Um, but over time I've, you know, over the off season, really, I've been talking a lot about how much Joe Judge loves how much New York Giants love to bring in guys who they know and they're all about connections and um you know I think this move shows completely how much the New York Giants value um connections and togetherness and I think Crossing is a guy who can really really help out the special teams unit which Joe Judge really values more than I would say any coach in the NFL. Um, so I think he, especially because he coached them, won a Super Bowl with them in New England in 2018. Um, I think he, he th this is fully a Joe Judge move. Had our coach not been Joe Judge, I don't think this move happens. Um, so I think Joe Judge really values this player and really thinks that he can help the special teams unit in which I think um, is a very a very undervalued um, aspect to the game to the NFL. I think um, special teams is a huge unit that you know could cost teams football games. So um, we'll see um, how this you know move ends up working out. He's twenty five years of age, crossing. Um, he played in all sixteen games the past two seasons with Houston. Um, he started four last season. So he, he's definitely a, a player who I don't think he's going to see too many reps at the corner position, but I definitely think um, the Super Bowl champion will see tons of on-field time in the special teams uh, aspect of the game. The next trade I want to touch on is the trade between the New York Giants and the Green Bay Packers between two cornerbacks from the same draft class, Isaac Yadam, off to Green Bay, Josh Jackson on his way to the New York Giants, both cornerbacks. Um, Isaac Yadam, of course, was traded to the New York Giants um, around this time last season, maybe even a little bit, you know, in advance, so maybe a couple weeks ahead of now last year for seventh round pick. Um, and then Yadam got a ton of playing time with the Giants. He started 10 games with us in the 16 that he played. Um, I mean, he, he was not anything to rave home about, that's for sure. He wasn't terrible, but he wasn't that good um and i think this move really gives the new york giants um a, a bit of flexibility especially because josh jackson who they're getting back the 25 year old he plays his best football in press man coverage which the new york giants and patrick graham run a lot of um so i think this this move I think is, is beneficial to the New York Giants. I think these two players are similar, but I think Josh Jackson fit, fits the New York Giants um, schemes and what they want to do a little bit better. I don't think this guy's going to play too much football. Um, you know, maybe he's going to be the cornerback three. Uh, maybe they don't view Rodarius Williams as the cornerback three just yet. Um, but, you know, the Giants are just stacked. They're loaded at the... Um, at the cornerback position and their secondary is loaded. Um, but as for Josh Jackson, in his, he was drafted 45th overall by the Packers in 2018. And in his rookie season, he was pretty good. Um, he, in 10 games started out of the 16, he had 10 passes defended. He had a, a forced fumble and a fumble recovery. So, you know, he was pretty good. Um, I think he's a guy who can definitely see the field with the Giants. I think even though this position is very stacked for us, we have um, a couple of rookies uh, at the cornerback position, Aaron Robinson, Rodarius Williams, 
Um, and they have a second year guy in Darnay Holmes, who I think is, you know, more than capable of playing for the Giants. Um, I think this move is just, you know, I think they kind of view these players, you know, very, very similarly. I just think Josh Jackson fits the New York Giants scheme better than Isaac Yadam would. And I think he also has, like I said, with Keon Cross and a aspect of the special teams um, that, you know, Isaac Yadam doesn't so much have. So I think um, the the Giants, I, I like this move um, and I like the crossing move, but I think they're both beneficial moves. I just think um, they're not they're not super major, obviously, um, but we'll see how it ends up playing out. I think the Giants, it's good to see that they're active. They also did cut Alfred Morris um, today, of course, or yesterday. They had to cut a couple of players, um, and unfortunately, Alfred Morris was the one cut, one of them cut. And I think that, you know, you can really read into that and think that maybe Saquon Barkley is going to be ready for week one, considering they cut Alfred Morris, who's a running back. So, listen, right now it's good to see the Giants are active, but in a couple of weeks, the season starts, and I cannot wait. You guys let me know what you think down below in the comment section, what you think about these um, moves for the New York Giants. What do you view of them? Again, a couple of minor moves that... You know, could end up paying off for the Giants. You guys let me know what you think. I like the moves. I think there's no harm to the moves. You guys let me know what you think. And as always, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We'll see you guys all in the next video.